Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. <laughs> what are you doing, Mumu? Are you being lazy? Anyways, we um, are going to be insulating pipes or finishing that job. We're also insulating all the nozzles because I spent like 80 bucks at the beginning of the season replacing all this stuff. Now, we are going to make sure everything's drained, but while we're here, it's still nice to know that if it gets a little bit below freezing, because it usually doesn't get that cold, but a little below freezing, that we can leave everything on and the pipes should be good. And yes, you might find it strange, but I'm gonna use old coolers that I found at the thrift store for under $5. Well, actually this one I think was six. Um, but our problem is, is that I want something where I can still access the nozzle, which the lid, I can't do it with one hand, but the lid, that way I can still get in there and access the nozzle and it shuts and it's insulated. What I might go back and do though is drill a few holes because the problem with these cheaper Coleman like coolers is they don't insulate the lid. The lid's not insulated. Everything else is insulated but the lid. The more expensive ones, they insulate the lid. So I'm just gonna drill a few holes and I'll use um, some spray foam to go in there and seal the lid up. But this is the major problem here is um, Ed had built these boxes and, and I really appreciate that he built these boxes for us and it did work to keep the nozzles from freezing. But the problem is, is that they're not very secure. So rodents can get in there and mess everything up. We just found a mouse that is scurried away. I don't even know where it went to, but it was um, building a little nest in there. So that's just not gonna work for me. I want something that is gonna be cleaner and stay clean, not a bunch of insulation floating around. It's just, it's a mess, so. But like I said, this did work for three years and I do appreciate that he built these boxes for us. But I'm gonna switch over to something that is cleaner and definitely gonna work, hopefully. <laughs> but easier to access too, because with that box, See how the bottom's cut out? What it happens is it would go over the nozzle and with the insulation. So anytime I wanted to get to the nozzle, I'd have to pull that box up and lift all the insulation. So I just feel like this is definitely gonna be an easier way to get to it. And still, it'll be insulated. So I've already got one coat on this cooler. I need to flip this over and paint the lid. See, it's that red color. And I've got this cooler already cut out so the nozzle fits inside. We have cinder blocks around it. We've leveled up the dirt a little bit. The cooler's gonna fit right here. And this is a smaller setup here, not as long as the other one. And I can use the smaller cooler on this one. So like I was saying, I'll put the cooler here and then we're gonna fill this in with dirt and just pack it down really good. I like the color. Definitely freshens it up and makes it look newer. But that's not the point. I just kind of want it to blend in better. So it's just not this big red and white box. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Alright. Let that dry and put one more coat on. Okay, it's time to cut out the bottom of this one and a little bit of the side so that we can fit this in. So that's what we're gonna do now. We were just measuring and seeing where we should cut because not this whole pipe is gonna fit in. And it really depends on if you wanted to push it. You're gonna leave this empty. You're not gonna put like insulation in. No, I can, yeah. We can, Like I was thinking um, just for more protection yeah, that and, I can actually will... stuff these, um, stuff these, cause nothing can get in here. So yeah. stuff them with uh, like o an old blanket. Yeah, so this one then you want the hole over a little bit. For the winter though. Space but for now, it just leave it like it is. It should be fine. Cause it's not getting that cold I'm yet. I'm saying don't put the hole over here. Yeah. Put it over here. That'll leave space here to fill in. Oh, I see. So space. don't go all the way to the edge. Yeah. Okay. So this stuff is actually very easy to cut through. I've just been using a small circular saw 
to get it started. And then using the reciprocating saw to finish it off. Did it work? Oh, it looks perfect. Look at that. Amazing. So we just have to lift one side up a little bit, or should we? We can cut and then bury some of that. Right. So we need to just cut a little bit here, then up, kind of like we did over here. Well, the other, the this other one's thing, not as tall. I mean, this one's not as tall, so we don't have, we don't have to cut that high. Another suggestion, another possibility. Uh huh. Because this is a compression joint, we could just take off the pipe right there. Right. Well, that's what I was thinking. And then you don't have to cut it. Well, but then we can't use it. Well, you can't I, use it while this is on. Right, right. but I, but that's the whole point. Oh, okay, I want right, to be able right. to use it while it it's on. on. It. Right, exactly. We can still take the compression fitting off for now, but... Well, the truck is gone. I guess Jason went to go take it for a test drive. Looky, some... looky. It's almost done. Almost done. You did an amazing job. This has taken you several days. It, it was mostly because of parts. Because right, we kept yeah. Out. We went back three times for three bearings. Right, and we're not that close to town. It's like an hour away, so... Right. But yay! I'm glad it's almost done. Oh, and it spins too. Well, that's good yeah, that look, it spins. It's, it's cool. You can turn it. Uh huh. Oh, look at that. It makes no noise. And it no makes noise. Because no <laughs> the bearings are amazing. And they're amazing. He was able to check everything over this morning and put the tire back on. Now I believe he's went and taken it for a test drive. Uh, hopefully everything's working good because. I need it to be for it to be on the road because I'm going to be towing it behind my vehicle, so. That looks good. Now we're going to build all this up with soil. Should I cut it a little bit more? You think so? Because once we build yeah. it up with dirt, it should be fine, huh? Yeah, because it'll hold it down. Right, and then this will all be emptied from this point on, so this is nothing here will freeze. And I could buy a secondary cooler just to go here. Like, now that I know we can do this, I can just buy one more of these. I think I saw a cheap one, like five bucks at the thrift store. Well, that shouldn't hold any water. Right. Sure. Leaving it out. Well, that's what I'm saying though. When we're here for season, I would actually like it to be able to be left on. So, okay. So, let's pull this up. I gotta paint this, and then we're going to build that with dirt. I guess it's working. I don't see a tire falling off or anything. Yeah, it works. It works. No tire fell off, obviously. Right, but <laughs> the uh, squeak in the brakes is back. Oh, well, I know that it's been squeaky. Oh, it's because okay. I need to get my rotors replaced and I can do that on the stay. road. So yeah, and I'm low, not worried about that. The low range on the, um, the transfer the, case still doesn't work. Still doesn't yeah, work. So no. there's something. We can mess that. with that. Like the transfer uh, case probably needs oil too. If it, <laughs> it might. Well, it didn't. It, it only needed oil because I emptied it out. Yeah, it, it needed it's to probably be. never been changed. Yeah. yeah. What I'm okay. saying is I got that first coat on that and I'm going to let that dry. I think I'm going to probably put two or three coats on it but this is the kind of paint that bonds to plastic because obviously this is made from plastic right there it actually bonds to wood metal and more all right so that fits nicely and snug so we're gonna put the lid on it then fill the rest up with dirt let me get that better hold on Much better. Right, I might need a little bit more. Well, I also want it to go back here behind it so it insulates that too. Oh, yeah, the bricks would be nice to fill up. And then we can put little cappers on it. Probably should get the 
water and wet this down maybe. I just moved my birdhouses. I had to take them down when I was painting so I've got to get these back up. I don't think they're very weatherproof because they seem like two of them are sort of falling apart. That's the newest one. One of my favorite ones. Thanks y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, when I was reading the instructions it said it's not weatherproof either so I don't know how long they're meant to last outside or if you're even supposed to have them outside. Changed the configuration a little bit. There are four cinder blocks now. We filled them up with dirt and I just wet everything down so it kind of solidifies in there. Then I'm going to take and finish off with the cappers here. The reason why I changed the configuration because I couldn't go all the way around with the caps. And I still might not be able to. We'll see, but hopefully I will be. Not only will the cinder block and caps insulate it more with the dirt in there, but also it'll prevent somebody from running over this because <laughs> it is right next to the drive. So I've always been worried about that. We usually put things here so people can see it, but I think they can definitely see it with the big cinder blocks there and the red capping stones. I love it. I think it turned out well. Now just one more to do. See, and it's easy to get into. Perfect. Turn that on. If any moisture gets in there, it'll drain out because there's ground under there. I'm going to leave that lid open for a second so all this can dry out a little bit. Okay, I got the second coat on there. I'm just going to let it dry for probably about 20-30 minutes. I'm going to go grab me something to eat and we'll get back to this. Okay, this is what we've got done so far. Still need to do the capstones. And we haven't finished over here because there we need another cooler to go right here over this part because this is the main drain and also the valve for draining. So another one needs to go there and then we need to finish off with cinder blocks here and also capstones. So yeah, it'll look good. If it gets too cold and when we leave for the winter, I'll just put a blanket in here. Ooh, look at the dirt's coming in. <laughs> we might actually have an extra cooler that we're not using anymore in the shipping container so I'm going to check real quick and see if I can find that one. It's a good sized one so I mean if we need to replace it like I said they're about five six bucks at the thrift store so it's not that much money. Okay I was going to use this one it's a really nice one with the handle and everything and wheels but it's just way too big. I, I feel like I, I can find a smaller one. 
that'll fit this spot better so this is just gonna have to wait until tomorrow because we're gonna run to Flagstaff tomorrow so I'll just go by the thrift store and see if I can find one hopefully fingers crossed right now we're gonna go get some water we've got the tanks loaded up and the doggies too yeah my seat <laughs> well we've got our load of water we're headed back it definitely hasn't been as much rain this season there's way more last season Okay, the truck is running good. We got all the water put in the tank. We might go get one more load. I'm not sure yet. It's getting kind of late. We did have an issue that we had to work on. We noticed that this had come apart, the gutter system. So to fix it, we ended up putting some screws in the joint areas. And I see that joint is leaking. But when the water was running, it wasn't leaking because we tested it, we filled it with water. And there's two more screws down there. And that whole section had come loose. So we put a screw in there to keep that together. But you see where it's leaking, Jeff? Yeah, I see. But it shouldn't be holding any water. Should... Well, I think that's where water pools. Like, because um, when the water was running, it wasn't leaking. But um, once the water settles and it's pools right there. Maybe it goes down inside. Yeah. Do you want to take a look at it? Maybe we can put some um, caulking up there or something. I don't know, whoever designed these, they're really hard to get together. They're not uh, user friendly at all. <laughs> but you know what, it's better than having to hire someone to do it. We put in the gutters ourselves, so. Yeah, we just attached those. Do you see where it's leaking? I'm trying to find out. Right, the, the water is sitting. In right, that little, right? that little corner has water that's, so it's not that much. No, it's just, it's just this right here. Right. Because it's lower than either of these. So it's not like really leaking, leaking, but where the water pulls after I mean, it's done can running. Get silicone and yeah, we can do that. Okay. Just... Like I said, we do have to run into town tomorrow. I got to get more paint. Um, we're going to get caulking for that. What else do we have to get? Oh, I have to get the, um, the cooler or see if I can find another cooler to fit that area. And hmm, I better make a list so I don't forget something. Oh, you look like a movie star. Who is that? Huh? Who's that famous dog? Huh? <laughs> Are you incognito? Okay, I'll take those back. So we did decide to get one more load of water, and then we should be done for the season with the rainwater catchment. And then um, we're gonna probably put two loads in the 3,000 gallon one, just it's a good thing to have like a lot of water left so the water doesn't freeze or the tank doesn't blow away if we get severe winds but yeah I doubt that would happen but anyways I like to at least keep the tanks half full or more last one halfway done are y'all patiently waiting huh you too mama morning we're headed into town I have to run a few errands and grab some supplies we have seven days or eight seven or eight that's a week before we have to get on the road it's clear this way got it hey hello good morning good morning Mumu. <laughs> anyways yeah that's what we're doing but we're gonna stop and go get breakfast first uh, one of my favorites places because they have cheap breakfast sandwiches.
So I just dropped Jeff off at the DMV. He had to go do some stuff and I'm gonna come here to Goodwill and find what I need. Oh, look at this couch. $17, I <laughs> love that thing. Wow. Too bad I can't use it. Oh, that's an awesome planter. Oh, it's more than the dang couch. 25 bucks. These things are expensive though. That's really cool. It's a cool old canister. 20 bucks though. Their pricing is weird here. I didn't have enough tables. I love this acrylic top table. Look at it. It's only $12. This is usually where their coolers are at, but all they have are the same round ones that I have. These ones are even smaller. Oh, little water carrier. That's not going to work. There goes Jason and Jennifer. They are headed out and headed east. Don't forget if y'all want to follow them, it's Dreamweaver RV. They've been here with us most of the season, so it's sad to see them go. But we'll definitely get to see them again. It's almost time for us to leave as well. And yeah, I've got to get some projects done. Speaking of finishing projects, yay, I found a cooler. This I got at Savers and it was $4.49, but Mondays are half off. So I paid half price on this. Awesome. What is it, catalog, huh? What is it? So I'm just looking at this and I'm hoping it'll work. All we really need it for is this valve here to access this valve. So the rest of the piping will be buried. I'll probably put some of the insulation on it and then just bury the rest of it. And then this is what we need to access. And then after we're done with this, we're probably going to go ahead and shut the system down because we don't need it anymore. Uh, we're going to put a couple more loads in here just to have it in here. But as far as using this system, I I topped off my rig yesterday and Jeff did his as well. So we can go ahead and shut this system down because it's only for the RVs. Is it, how does it feel? It's about a quarter full. Yeah, I think that's what the... yeah. Well, two loads I, will get it all You probably out. can't see it up here, but it does say about a quarter full on the thing. So, yeah, let's get to this. We got to cut the bottom out. Okay, got the bottom cut out. Gonna see if it fits. Let's see. This way, right? But well, we got to build it up a little bit. So, let's see. Stop being annoying. <laughs> That's gonna work. We can get to it. I probably didn't even have to cut out that much on the other side. But we're gonna bury all this anyways. So it'll be fine. I think that fits. I think I'm just gonna paint it in spot. I'm leaving them open because I, I used water to clean them out. And today when I came to, there was water, condensation all up in there. So I'm trying to keep them open so it circulates and dries all out. But yeah, I'm gonna fill this in with dirt and get it painted. I'm just gonna paint it in spot. I thought I was time lasting the procedure, but it didn't go through. Wow, there's a lot of flies that are like wanting the water. Anyways, this is all done. The system is shut off. So that's one more step to getting out of here. Like I said, I'm going to leave these open to dry out for a couple days. It should be fine. I'll close them at night. But in the morning, I'm going to open these up so they can get completely dry. And then I am going to use the insulation that came with it because I mean it's there so I might as well use it it's a little tattered but I will also put some old blankets on top of that and it should be good oh yeah one more thing we did run out of the top blocks but ended up putting some of the natural stone that we have around on top I kind of like that better well once everything is sealed huh yeah, I mean, we could also put decorative rock in here. You can go ahead and pull that hose. But, yeah, I think it looks better. I like it. I didn't paint that white cap because we were burying most of it. And I was like, why am I even painting that? And we covered most of this. So, I just left that one white. I think it'll be fine. If it irritates me later, I can always paint it next season. So, but I think it looks fine. And plus, I can tell people... Uh, the valve in the black or the valve in the white <laughs> and i did show you the finished product of this except the insulation and i will also put a little small blanket on top of the insulation just to keep everything in place 
but I'm gonna do the same with this one, keep it uncovered for a couple days. Well, the last thing I have to do is finish the pipes in the laundry room. I just have a very short section. Wow, that's hard to say. A very short section. Anyways, I'm going to run to the hardware store and complete that. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, though, because um, it is already starting to be a long video. I'll give you an update on that in the next video. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me during this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And... If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. If you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, right over there. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.